The roads have been paved, the light posts have been installed, and the street signs are up. But they've stopped building houses on this development site on Mayor Island. And that means the city of Vallejo won't be getting as much money as they were expecting. If the housing market were still going strong, there'd be a construction site where I'm standing now. The city of Vallejo's building department estimates that if this project had not been halted, they would have collected around $5 million in fees. And this isn't the only development that's scaled back, and that's a problem for the city's budget. Our expected revenues uh, has gone down quite a bit. We've had several developers that have uh, backed way off on their production, which the city had anticipated those revenues coming in to help support the city. The building department took in close to $16 million in permit fees for the city, county, and state three fiscal years ago. So far this fiscal year, which ends in June, they've only taken in a little under $2 million. And it's not just a slowdown in home construction that's causing the city financial pain. The slump of resale homes also hurts. Whenever a piece of property is sold, Vallejo charges a transfer tax that's based on the price of the home. And the housing market in Vallejo has taken a beating. Between July 2005 and this past July, home sales dropped 67 percent. And the median price dropped 9 percent. That drop didn't just cost home sellers, it also cost the city. The city of Vallejo took in more than $5.6 million in transfer tax fees two years ago. After the market cooled in the last fiscal year, the city took in just under $4 million. So far this year, the city has only taken a little over $1.1 million. The city also gets money from new homeowners in the form of supplemental property taxes. In just one year, the revenue from that stream dropped $1 million, money that the city desperately needs. In Vallejo, Maureen Kelly, Cron 4 News.